I just use the cocoa. Here we go. Hey everyone. So I finally did it. I finally got one of the tarantulas I've really had my eyes on for lately. It is an OBT. Yeah. These tarantulas are known in the hobby for how bolty they are, meaning they're super fast, as well as their attitude. Except mine has really yet to show any this far. When I got them, I feel it wasn't just like an adoption, more so a rescue, since as you can see, they came with tape on them. People that I got it from, they told me that, oh, just in case uh, it attempts to escape while you drive home. Well, <laughs> obviously that is not a very safe enclosure then as it can escape and it doesn't close properly. <laughs> so I'm glad I saved this one from there. Their enclosure was obviously not the most ideal. So that is why I'm making this one. The scientific name for this species is Biternochilis murinus. They are terrestrial, however, uh, many people put them in arboreal enclosures, so I'm going to do a combination of both. Another reason for this tarantula being rescued, not only for its enclosure, however, before I got there, they had yet to inform me that the tarantula just molted. So freshly molted, here you go, just have at her. That's just not taking very great care of your tarantulas, you know? You, they're little creatures, they need some love. They need proper care. They need some recuperating time after they molt. It was, it's a very stressful process. They're shedding their skin, you know? Like, you gotta give them some time. <laughs> and then they gotta harden up, and then they're ready to go. But I didn't know while I was already there at the door, so I just took him and thankfully he's doing great. I have inquired and it has been over a week since they're mold, so I'm gonna show him to you. So here he is. Now that we have it up close, here's another great thing. That's all they had for ventilation. Just this tiny little piece of cardboard. Yeah. And then under here, I guess, that was their ventilation system. Here's the tape. Because you can, if you can see closely, it doesn't fully actually close. That's so intense. So, I mean, I left the tape till I'm rehome him, because just in case, since it doesn't fully close. So I'm really happy I got my OBT finally. It really doesn't, uh, give me attitude. He doesn't like try to kill me or attack me through the screen, which is nice. It just hangs out just like all my other tarantulas, which is funny because I was hoping for some attitude, <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe I'll get another one. <laughs> and it, you can even see the molt in there still. Getting ready to be rehomed. I'm honestly really impressed with how chill they are. It's really cool. So for the new enclosure, I had bought the little plastic container you see me using. And here it is again. And then I use my little soldering iron to make the little holes everywhere. That you see me making. <laughs> and then afterwards, I just put the substrate in there. I just use the cocoa. Here it is. Uh, I like to use some soil as well as coconut fiber substrate a little bit and I use a little bark for the hide. Yeah. So for the new enclosure I bought the plastic container you see. And there you have it. This new enclosure. 
Well, thanks for watching.